we are given these processes quite weird processes and we need to find the molar heat capacity of the gas as a function of volume it's also given that uh, molar heat capacity of the gas at constant volume is this so quite obviously these are not polytopic processes of this form so our usual formulas will not work here so how do we do find the molar heat capacity so we start with our basic formula energy conservation dq is equal to du plus dw or n not c dt is equal to n not c v dt plus pdv so we just take n not dt on the other side and we get c is equal to cv plus pdv by n not dt so this is our equation which is going to give us the value of molar heat capacity not just this process any process so this is a general formula which gives the molar heat capacity so now cv is known to us so let's focus on this part so we need dv by dt so to get that let's get our equation in terms of temperature and volume and it's already in terms of temperature and volume so nice so we'll just differentiate this and this will give us the value of dt by dv so now we'll put the value of uh, this uh, dv by dt here but we also have a term of pressure which is uh, not which is not required by us because we need to find the answer in terms of volume so we'll turn the pressure in terms of volume so we'll write the pressure as and not rt by v and we'll just put the value of dt by dv here and get our answer second part so now we have a equation in pressure and volume so again because we need the term of dv by dt we are going to turn that equation in the variables of volume and temperature so pressure we'll write in terms of temperature and volume so that becomes this so now we get the value of dt by dv which comes to be this so c becomes cv plus pressure into dv by dt and pressure is simply this so we'll just directly put the value of uh, p not e raised to the power alpha v in terms of p in place of p so p into dv by dt so we just do that and get our answer so again in any kind of process if we are supposed to find the molar heat capacity we write it in this form so whatever the process we write in terms of volume and temperature and we differentiate that uh, process to get the value of dv by dt we put that here and certain manipulations so that uh, we get <coughs> sorry the answer in terms of temperature and volume yeah